the way it changes our patterns of communication. It opens a whole new door. Most people are familiar with email. Many people are familiar with instant messaging. To me, Twitter, microblogging, the other platforms that do this is a whole new third platform that's going to become extremely important to everybody in the next four to five years. You mentioned the ripple effect, and that's incredibly important because one of the reasons Twitter is so powerful is that people repeat messages and they spread very quickly. And it's almost like village drums or smoke signals or a telegraph in the sense that the way the messages are repeated and relayed into different networks, into different communities, into different social groups is what makes it so powerful. There's a lot of work on the um, very real business and career benefits of your weak ties. And I was just reading Andrew McAfee from Harvard on this yesterday. One of the reasons weak ties are so much stronger is they cross from social groups to social groups, from you know campfire to campfire or tribe to tribe. And within your, your close friendships, everybody pretty much knows each other. But within your more diff distant friendships, you're mixing it up and you're cross-pollinating with a much wider swath of knowledge and insight and perspectives. Because Twitter is all about loose ties. It takes the advantage of loose ties and makes it very fast and powerful to reach them because you are jumping these social puddles, getting to a much bigger spectrum when the story merits it. Our experiences and encounters with each other within Twitter almost perfectly mimic the natural way humans get to know each other, which is just bumping into people in their neighborhood and exchanging random niceties. Chances are you don't stop and, and talk about the proof to Fermat's last theorem when you see your mailman. You go, hey, how are you doing? Oh, I hear you're retiring soon. Um, so that kind of lightweight, quick, friendly sharing conversation is what goes on on Twitter. I might bump into my neighbor who's also a mom and say, how's it going with potty training? Oh, did you see that new movie? That's exactly what's going on with Twitter, but it's, it's global. So I can get to know people all over the place. So we're all going to have to learn new social norms of how we want to connect to each other. But, again, none of it's totally new. It's the same thing you decide when you interact with your neighbors and the people in your town. Who are you going to tell what to?